And all right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the, wait, wait a minute. I believe this is the first ever episode of our DXB Interact series. Yes. And in case you guys are wondering where the gloves went, well, I'm going to be operating a laptop today for you guys. So I'm going to be needing my fingers. Yeah. Anyway, I believe I titled this first part as how to do a background investigation on any property in Dubai. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to show you guys how. First, we got to head on to dxbinteract.com. You guys can see, right? Now, See the lovely home screen over here. Play around with that if you like. But no, we're gonna head over to the first section over here, which is a new feature actually called property history, right? So let me just click that. All right, so when we click on the property history section of this website, you can see that it takes us to this property transactions history page where we can look at the background of any property in Dubai, be it an apartment, villa, or an office space. An apartment already seems to be inputted over here for the sake of an example, I suppose. Right, so this is an apartment located in the pad. The pad is a tower developed by Omniac in Business Bay, located just across the street from my office, in fact. And uh, the property number is 1506. So let's say we wanted to do a little background search on this property, right? We click on search. I mean, it's already been inputted, like I said, but property details are mentioned over here, namely the built up area of the property, the number of bedrooms, if it has a balcony, this one has no balcony apparently because yeah, the pad is like a leaning tower, it doesn't have a balcony. Anyway, that's for another video altogether. It has the parking bay located in the second basement level, numbered at 50. It's currently offering a return on investment of 9%, which is pretty damn good. <laughs> now, in terms of the transactions history, right, this is the good part. If you look at the sales tab over here, in the month of October 2017, it was sold at 1.665 million dirhams by the developer, which was Omniat, which is Omniat. And uh, in the month of February 2018, it was sold at 1 million dirhams by the landlord. Pretty good deal, actually, I mean, for whoever bought it. But yeah, this is the sales record of this property. Moving to the rental history of this property, let me click on that. You can see the rental values of this property in particular that were taken directly from the Ijari contracts pertaining to this unit in particular. You can see whether it was a new contract, whether it was a renewal, and the dates pertaining to each contract as well. Now, let us look at a different property, right? Let me look at RP Heights. Pretty damn good project as well, located in downtown Dubai. Um, unit 1302. Okay. Let's see, I want to look at this property in particular. All right, built up area, 920 square feet, pretty decent. One bedroom, oh, one bedroom. <laughs> Balcony space of 138.10 square feet. Parking located in the second podium level and is numbered at 37. So I know where this guy is parking his vehicle, guys. <laughs> anyway. It's currently giving a return on investment of 6.98%. By the way, this ROI figure is actually a gross figure. And uh, you can see that it's mentioned over here that it does not consider expenses, namely the service charge. You know, otherwise that would be the net ROI. This is the gross ROI. It is calculated on the basis of the last purchase price and the most recent tenancy contract, right? Mentioned over here, disclaimer. <laughs> now, let's look at the sale history of this property, right? You can see that it, it was sold by the developer at this price on so-and-so date, sold by the landlord at this price on so-and-so date, which is quite recent, and in fact, just, uh, ooh, just two months ago. <laughs> Looking at the rental history, right, you can see that both times have been a renewal, but it ended in November 2022. Okay, now let me look at a villa, right? Let me look at a villa in particular. What do we look at? Uh, Emirates living right let's look at springs so s4 townhouse 101 let's look at that built up area 1883 square feet two bedrooms okay two parking bays an roi of 18.36 percent and let's find out how that came to be if we look at the sale history you can see that it was sold by the developer at an unbelievable price, 462,888 dirhams. Wow, by the developer. And this was done way back in October 2010. It has been leased ever since from the looks of it. And you can see that from 2017, right? It was leased at 115,000, kind of dropped currently in the month of. Uh, November 2021 to November 2022, right? The contract stands at 85,000, which is still pretty darn good, actually. 
So now let's move on to an office space, right? Let's go to commercial and uh, what office do I put? Let's put my head office at Fan Properties. <laughs> Bay Square 13. Let's look at 13, okay. Bay Square 13. We are at the third floor in office 304. Let's search. Okay. Oh, built up area of 4,230 square feet. No balcony. And these are the parking bays allocated to us, right? So, ooh. Let's not look at the ROI here, because um, we're generating most of our income anyway from this office, but not from ROI. It is currently tenanted, right? Uh, in case you didn't notice, guys, uh, the lease ends on this date. Ooh, 400,000. Let's look at the sale history. It's sold by the developer at 4.134 million. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our first ever episode from the DXB Interact series, where I told you guys, or rather taught you guys, how to do a background investigation on any property in Dubai. So before you go in for that property, whether you're looking to buy or whether you are looking to lease, right, an apartment, villa, or an office space, please visit dxbintract.com. Go to the property history section right here on top and do your homework. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for part two.